types of quadrilateral and their properties. First, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposites, opposite sides are parallel. As you can see, quadrilateral A, B, C, D above is a parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. That is, line AB and line BC are parallel. Line B, CB and line DA are also parallel. Next, a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles. So, this indicates a right angle. Quadrilateral EFGH is a rectangle. It is a subset of the set of parallelograms. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. This angle E, angle F, angle G, and angle H are right angles. This means the measure of each angle is equal to 90 degrees. This is indicated by the symbol right here at each vertex. Next, a rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. For the lateral, IJ, KL is a rhombus. The set of the rhomb rhombi plural form of rhombus is a subset of the set of parallelograms. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. The four sides are line IL, line JK, JK are parallel, line IJ, and line LK are also parallel. A square is a rectangle with four congruent sides. Quadrilateral MNOP is a square. The set of squares is a subset of the set of rectangles. It has four right angles and at the same time four congruent sides. Here. Next, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel, in which a line ES and line QR are parallel. The non-parallel sides are called the legs, here, line TQ and line SR. The angles formed by a base are the legs and the legs are called base angles here these are the base angles quadrilateral QRST is a trapezoid in which line QR and line TS are its bases and line QT and line RS are its legs properties of a parallelogram Theorem 4-1 A diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent angles. Corollary 4-1.1 In a parallelogram, any two opposite angles are congruent. Like this. Angle D and B are opposite sides in which they are congruent. Theorem dash 4-2. In a parallelogram, any two consecutive angles are supplementary. Here, angle A and angle B are supplementary, in which they form 90, 180 degrees. Theorem 4-3. In a parallelogram, any two opposite sides are congruent. Theorem 4-4. The diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Here, the parallelogram. These are the diagonals. As I've said, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So here is the point of intersection. Next, Theorem 4-5. If two lines are parallel, 
then all points of each line are equidistant from the from the other line. Here. Two lines are parallel, line H E and line G F, in which they have the same distance from the other. So in this G F and a, uh, line HE, are, we have the same distance with each other. 